Okay, this is going to be a little weird because the project that I'm working on today is really, really cool, but I had to set it up in such a specific way because I'm working with a larger transfer and a larger chalkboard. So I figured I'm going to hold this up until I have to turn it down to face the project that I'm going to do. Okay, so... I'm excited to do this because I don't do a lot of, or I haven't done a lot of the larger transfers. And so this one, Easter's only a couple of weeks away. So I thought, oh, this one's going to be cool, especially because we have all of these um, really gorgeous uh, new pastes that we have. And so here I am just doing my, my thing as I'm holding the phone because I just didn't want to. I didn't want to um, have to do it again, have to try to adjust it while I was going live because I have it just in the right spot. So give me just a second and I can finish this and hopefully I won't be making people too nauseous as I'm doing it. You can see I'm over here on my computer and I'm just sharing this into the group. <clears throat> there we go. Hot on over. All right, here we go. So how's everybody doing? Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been like forever since I've done a live. I mean, it really has been. I've been so crazy, stupid busy. And oh my gosh. Okay, it's happy Easter time. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I was working on the uh, stuff for my um, show that I did last week, which, wow, Let's just say the show was interesting. Let's just say I didn't sell anything. Um, not product, not, I mean, well, I sold like, like three small things. And so oh, the glare here, I want it to also work now because, oh my gosh, we have sunlight. And so the sunlight is giving a really nice natural light to work on, I hope anyway, so... Gosh, do you know? Do you, ever, do you notice how when people do these lives, seriously, they they choose the ugliest picture of you to be the base picture. So when you share it, there's like a picture of me in the in the ugliest position possible. Anyway, okay. So what I'm doing today is I am going to be working with the larger Happy Easter transfer. This is a C size transfer. It's uh, 12 by 18, and it's going to be so much fun to work with. I'm very excited to do this. I finally cracked open my unbelievable score of chalkboards that I picked up on Amazon at Christmas time. So there's these beautiful boards. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the board, the board guys, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, the board dudes. And they make really, really nice chalkboards and whiteboards and chalkboards, you know, like all this stuff. And so they had on crazy sale, I got these, I don't know, like 85% off. It was nuts. And I bought a bunch of them, but I haven't used them. I've been very selfish with them because I didn't know what I wanted to do. But I wanted to do this because I want to hang this in my house because it's going to look really, really cool. And so what I'm going to be doing today is the paste and peel method because it's a larger transfer. You can see here <clears throat> it's larger. And when you work with the chocotor paste, it can dry while it's in the transfer. And so there's a method that we use that we can do a section at a time, lift it and let it dry, and then work on it again. And so I have done this before, and I know how to do it. And I did it um, a couple of times at Christmas with larger transfers, and one of them was just not good, and the other one was okay. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit better. Um, for those of you who do not know what Chalkator is, Chalkator is a new company that developed adhesive back silkscreen transfers and a chalkology paste that they use, that we use to spread over the silkscreen transfer. Here's one of them. Wah, wah. And we spread it over the transfer and peel it off and whatever is on the, uh, whatever picture is on the transfer is going to be left imprinted on whatever surface you use. It can work on just about any surface and it washes off of any non-porous surface. Um, and it dries hard. It will not rub off like regular chalk, but it will wash off most surfaces with just water. So you can make a project, wash it off and make another one. So you can change it for the month or for the season. If you want to leave it on for forever, you don't have to do anything to it. It'll only come off if you scratch it. But if you wanted to make it permanent, just give it a quick spray of, um, of clear acrylic like Krylon or Rust-Oleum. And so, 
Uh, we also have couture inks that work on fabric, uh, ceramic, and glass, and that those are heat set. All right, so that's what Chalk Couture is, and I love it. And if you like what you see, please give me some likes and some loves and some hearts and make a comment to let me know that you're here because that's how Facebook recognizes that I'm doing a video. If you want to share this video, that would be amazing. Share it to your page. You want to share it in a message. Oh, my gosh, that would be amazing to let somebody else have the fun of seeing this crazy person doing her chalky stuff. All right, I'm going to turn the camera down, and hopefully it'll be right side up because you know me and my system here. It does not always cooperate the way I think that it should, even though I worked very hard to get it to be exactly where I want it to be. There is no guarantee that that's what's going to happen. Oh, my hair. I got a haircut. You can't tell my hair is all pushed back. Look at that. It's, it's a nice haircut. I'm just, you know, crazed. Nope. Now it looks like it's upside down. So I'm going to turn this around this way so that it's right side up. That's fine and dandy. Let me pull this out a little bit so that can make up for moving it a little and hopefully that is going to give us a good a good look at the project you can see it's a very large um, uh, chalkboard that I'm working on and it's really really cool it's, it's got it's got a, a smoother finish I didn't wax it I did a little practice piece and it didn't seem to need to be waxed so I'm gonna fuzz my transfer I'm not gonna wax it I'm gonna see how that if, if it continues to work out nicely with, um, <clears throat> with, with the way, with, with the transfer. Um, what we do when we're using transfers, especially newer transfers that work, that are working on a smooth surface, we do something called fuzzing it. All right. So here we go. This is me. Brandy, brand new. Let's see. Oh, hi, Michelle. Yeah, this is, this is going to be interesting. We'll have to see. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love the smell of new transfers. I know. I'm a sicko. I, it's like like people who like the smell of gasoline. They have just like this vinyl-y kind of cool scent. Okay. So <clears throat> I love them when they come out of the bag. This is the Chalkator fuzzing cloth. You do not have to have a Chalkator fuzzing cloth. You can use any cloth that has lint, that has um, uh, like a terry cloth, um, who else is here? Hi, Nicole and Morgan. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here. Give me a shout out. Give me hellos. Give me thumbs up. That would be great. Um, the fuzzing cloth, though, is made specifically for getting a little bit of lint on the back of these transfers. And it's a nice size and it's really only a couple of bucks. I'm not allowed to talk about numbers here on my own page. But that is uh, a very affordable, cool thing to use. Um, I have like a little pull there. Oh, I don't think it matters. All right. So you know how we do this. We turn it over and we want to peel the backing from the transfer. You don't want to feel the peel the transfer from the backing because it can fold in on itself a lot easier that way. But here you can see there is silk screen in there. It's not open like a stencil. All of the green that you see is the uh, adhesive part and the clear that you see my hand going through, that is the silk screen. Just the same kind of silk screen pretty much as they use to make silk screen t-shirts. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pull this off. All right. Working with larger transfers, you just want to be attentive. Um, if, if you take your time and don't rush through it and don't be intimidated by the transfer, you'll do fine. So you see, I peeled this off, all right, and everywhere I touch it, it's going to be sticky. So I'm just going to carefully lift it up by the corners, and I'm going to lay it down on this fuzzing cloth. Oop. Part on there, you can hear it stick. All right, the adhesive tackiness on the transfers is very, very strong. So that's one of the reasons why we will press it onto a, a cloth to put some lint on the back of it so that the transfer doesn't overly stick <clears throat> to the surface. If it sticks too, uh, too strongly, I'm pulling this from there. All right. If it sticks too strongly, the transfer will stretch when you go to pick it up. And the problem with it stretching is that it's a fabric. And so wherever the silk screen is, there's a fabric. If I go and stretch this, it's going to stretch off, um, stretch around that area. And the next time I go to use the transfer, it can bleed through. Because yes, that is an amazing truth about these transfers. They are washable. They are reusable. Very, very cool. Washable and reusable. Awesome. <clears throat> and that's what makes our transfers so cool is that you can decorate with them again and again and again. All right, I'm going to 
I want to fuzz this one more time because it's so, so new and I just don't want it to um, have any issues when I go to pull it off. Also, if it overly sticks, when you go to pull it off, it could leave a little bit of the green residue from this adhesive residue behind on your surface. That pretty much comes off easily with, um, <clears throat> with a magic eraser. You, won't, you don't want to do it too harshly to pull off whatever cover uh, um, finish you have on your project. But sometimes that happens if they're, if they're really kind of new. So... I don't know if you can see, but on here now is some lint that's going to help this to not be so overly adhesive that <clears throat> it sticks too hard and we go to pull out. So I'm going to do a little practice spot. All right. It seems to be okay. I seem to have not gotten this area here. So I just want to do this here. Oh, Donna, don't be impatient. All right. If your transfer should fold in on itself, do not freak out. It happens to the best of us. I've seen it happen to uh, top uh, designers that are working with things. It folds it. You take it and you put it with cold water. You would think that you would want to put it with warm water, but you don't. You want to put it with cool water that stiffens the transfer itself so it pulls apart a lot easier. Okay, now... This looks about even to me. It's kind of hard for me because I am not looking down on it, but I'm going to go with that straight. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to see how it's stuck in. Ah, no, no, no. All right, there we go. Again, if it sticks on itself, just take your time and work it apart. Don't yank it or pull it because you'll be pulling it and stretching it, and then it will be good for nothing. Okay. Hi, Scarlett. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to use my big squeegee here just to... Get the bubbles out. Can you hear that? Some bubbles coming along. There we go. Bubbles on your transfer are not good. I just want to make sure that it's not overly sticking. Where am I? No, nope, we're good. Okay. Bubbles on your transfer are no good because that means that there could be a bubble around the transfer area. And if that happens, it's going to bleed through and give you, see like that little bubble there, and give you a smushy, um, a um, what is it? It'll, it'll look like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's not smush because that's flat. It'll look like it would have run. It ran, I guess. That's the word. I can't think of the word anyway. See how long it's been since I've done a lot. I can't even speak. Use your words, Donna. <clears throat> okay. So this is looking good. All right. And I think we're good. Okay. So this is on there. That's not going anywhere. What you need for the peel and dry is a blow dryer. On cool, I had a heat gun. The heat gun really wasn't the best thing for me to use um, because the heat, I did not know. A heat gun will dry the paste super fast and if you go to do an overlay, it'll peel off. Um, it can peel off, not then definitely will, um, but it can. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna now work on these eggs. And I took out all of my bright Eastery color uh, paste. There's Couture Teal. And this is Poppy, okay? And I have my favorite raspberry sorbet. These are all really good egg colors, I thought. And I also have yellow. I think I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna put blue. Because I want it to be like really, oh, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> I want it to be like really cool. So I'm gonna do it like that, okay? Yellow, sorbet, blue, Poppy. We're good, all right? So I'm all set up here. I have my squeegees. I do have a bunch of squeegees because I get lazy and I don't wash them. Morgan, yeah, I think it's really cute. I love this transfer. I really do. <clears throat> okay, so here's the raspberry sorbet. Now these are pretty much mixed. I just took care, nice care of all of my, my uh, paste after the work that I did last week. I had to really clean up my paste. So sometimes you get buildup on the side. If that happens, spray it with a little water. If it gets too thick, spray it with a little water again, mix it up. If it gets too watery, put a little cornstarch. And so it should be the consistency of like cake batter. All right. And so I'm going to do the four eggs first. And I'm going to do this one. Now, I am putting extra paste on here for just a minute. If you lay it on a little thick, it dries slower. All right. So because I'm working... <clears throat> 
<clears throat> with I'm doing a couple of them. I'm going to leave it on a little thick and just keep the squeegee handy so that I can scrape it off when I'm done. All right, I'm going to put some yellow here. All right, and again, I'm going to leave it a little thick because I can quick do a scrape of that. Oops. All right, and then I'm going to do this really pretty blue. I think this is, this is Ocean Mist, I think. I'm not sure. All right, a little thick there, and I'm gonna do poppy. The poppy is so bright and fun. Oh my gosh, it really is bright and fun. Clean squeegee, it does help to have squeegees. And the cool thing now is that you can buy a 12 pack of squeegees, these little ones, they come in a 12 pack now. So you don't have to uh, have a bunch of the bigger ones that are a little more money. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit more to invest initially, but these little squeegees are very, very helpful. One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, I wanted to do orange. Okay. All right, here's the orange. This is one of our fall colors that I still had some left because the paste lasts forever. You use so little. This one's a little thick. See, this is a little thick, and I really could put some water on it, but I'm going to be scraping it off straight away. So I'm not going to be overly concerned that it is too thick. Okay, put that up here. Now I'm going to scrape. Where's my container? I'm going to scrape this and put the extra back into the cup. There we go. And then the yellow. And you do want to work fast enough, oops, wrong thing, fast enough so that it doesn't start to dry. <clears throat> if it dries in there, it doesn't ruin the transfer, but it will pull off when you pull off the transfer itself. So, and it is drying kind of fast on me. No, no, no. All right, oops. Goes there and there. And I don't know what, what happened to the orange one. Oh, I left it here. Silly me. All right, let's see if I manage to do this correctly. So I'm going to take the two corners. You don't want to pull it by the corner. You work towards the middle because you could end up stretching it. All right, look at that. There are my little eggs. Look how cute they are. Okay, that one got a little smushed because I, I smushed it. So now I only peeled it up to the part, to the end of where I, I, um, I pasted. That's going to dry so that when I put it back down, when I put the, um, the transfer back down, I don't have to worry about it smudging. Okay, I'm just like taking the time to cover these. You know, some, sometimes OCD is really like annoying. And so, but you know, it's going to bug me if they're not covered and that's still drying as we're going anyway. I'm probably going to end up opening these colors again because they're such cool Eastery colors. <sighs> okay. There's a little thing on that. I'm going to use my blow dryer. A little noisy. Hey, okay. it helps if it's turned on, right? Ah. All right. There we go. Putting it on cool. One second. pretty dry now remember it's dry but it's not really set so if I went to put something on top of that another transfer to layer it it probably would peel off because just because it's dry doesn't mean it's set there permanently okay so I want to do a little heart red and I want to do the words in blush pink this is like a what color it's called cherry blossom all right Move this over just a little. I think I have room. I think we do. All right, cool. So I need the red for the heart. And there are other ways that you can do these large transfers. You can certainly um, do one layer, peel it off, let it dry, line it up again, do another layer, peel it off, let it dry. I just kind of think that this is a cool, easy way, kind of, 
<laughs> to do these larger transfers. You can also cut this transfer. You, I could cut it straight through here and then realign it again if I wanted to, to do it in, in sections. So, yep, that definitely can be done that way. Okay, so here is the blush pink. And see, I put a little bit more on the heart. When I do smaller transfers, you'll hear me say, put more on the transfer on the <clears throat> on the squeegee than you're going to use because you want to be able to spread it smoothly. Now, on this one, I, I am because I'm leaving it on a little bit thicker, so... So how's everybody doing? Man, I had that crazy tr uh, show on Saturday and it was such a bust. I didn't sell hardly anything, um, but it was a great learning experience. It really was. I learned a lot. I'm taking the extra off of here. I learned a lot about how to set things up. I learned that I need to be able to, um, I need to be able to improvise because it got me a little, because uh, it wasn't going my way, the way I thought it was. I had a much smaller spot um, than I thought I was going to have. Okay, so I'm just going to take this from the middle, and I'm just going to lift it up only to the end of where I just worked. See that? Look how cool that is. And that says hippity hoppity. So cute. So, so cute. Hippity hoppity. <clears throat> how's the weather where everybody is today I can't even wrap my mind around that it is like 60 something degrees out today it has been nothing but rain and misery for weeks in northeastern PA like weeks and weeks and weeks crazy I can't even tell you how done I am with winter all right give me a second should be dry yep that's dry so now I can carefully lay this back here and I don't have to worry about it smudging I did get a little bit of the pink on there all right so I'm going to use parakeet and I think I want to use the yellow again for that little flower this is lemon yellow this is lemon yellow we don't carry lemon yellow anymore but we do have bumblebee which is a really cool color so if anybody loves that would like to try this product it's so so much fun just put in there um more uh i don't know put in there vip because i can put you in my vip group and i can offer you a discount on bundles that i have it's taking me forever to get them posted into my group which is terrible oh no i want to do these first all right which is not good oh there's a little lump sometimes that happens there's a little lump because it was uh, stirred the lumps were stirred in there every once in a while one shows up so if you want to be in my VIP group, just tell me, VIP group, if you think that you would want to know more information about how to possibly become a designer, it's so affordable and so much fun. And if you've ever seen sip and paint parties, that's a really good way to start this business up is that you uh, schedule sip and chalk parties. Yeah, that's part of mine. Sip and chalk parties. And I've been having so much fun and I do them in people's homes. And I don't bombard people with like a bajillion dollars in uh, catalog purchases. It's not like that at all. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, so now this one I'm going to sh scrape off. There we go. Nice little yellow flower. <clears throat> and these squeegees are just... The other, the, the um, mini size squeegees that I cut down, I cut them so that they're easier to work with on the, in these smaller spots. We also have a, a tool that'll come out in a little bit. I'll show you how that works. That's really kind of neat too. All right, so here we go. Take it from the middle and up we go. Let's see. There we go. There are some flowers. Look how cute this is. And that's how you can get a variety of colors in them. It's really kind of fun. Check it out. I see a whole bunch of people here. Give me hearts and loves, please. Please. Facebook loves the hearts and loves. Loves the comments. If you tell me that you're here, I want to know that you're here anyway. So just like let me know. I'm glad to know who's here. Okay. Here we go. All 
right? So now that's dry. Ooh, I'm getting likes. Likes, I like the likes. Got any hearts, got any love for me? Mix it up. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna turn this this way so that it's easier for me to work on these little flowers because I'm gonna do the Happy Easter last. All right, so let me just chuck these in the water here. There's my... <clears throat> All right, I'm just cleaning off a couple of my uh, squeegees here because I did use a lot of them and I want to have, make sure that I have enough as I'm working along. And everything is just washed with water. It's just plain old water. You wash your transfers with water and then you swipe them down with a Lysol or a Clorox or a Walmart brand disinfectant wipe. And that, for some crazy magical reason, reactivates the adhesiveness on the transfers. And that's how they remain, to, you know, are able to be used again and again and again. You know, if you take care of your transfers, they will take care of you. Or give you much pleasure. Much pleasure, I tell you. Hi, Laurel. Thanks for stopping by. The eggs are cute, Scarlet, right? They came out really cute. I was happy about that myself. Oh, my squeegee fell. Okay. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like all together. Because... I've never really done one with this many colors because at Christmas I just kind of stuck with red, white, and green. That was kind of new. I'm being daring now. Daring Donna. Ho, 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 ho. So Easter is going to be here before we know it. It's supposed to get... Now I used that for there. I want a different blue. I want this blue. Um, it's supposed to get warmer here and then it's going to get cold again. Unbelievable. So now you can see here that's like a little bit of separated in there. That's just because I spray them down with water when I close them up because I don't want them to get um, get uh, dry out. So I just put a little spritz of water and that keeps them soft. Then you can just mix it up when you're ready. Okay, it's a little bit of a bubble there. See, you want to make sure that there's no bubbles. Oh, I probably could have done her little... Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to want to go over and do the... I want to do... I want to do the feet in yellow. <laughs> Should I bother? I mean, you know, go big or go home, right? All right, I'm leaving a little bit on there. Are their feet yellow or orange? I'm going with orange. I, a birdie feet yellow or orange? Hi, Charmaine. Thanks for stopping by. I don't, I don't remember what birdie feet are. I'm going with orange. <laughs> it's too late. I don't want it to dry off. Now, I don't know if this is going to work because I, I'm just putting it over just in case it will work. You never know. And there's a little beak. All right, let's see. Did I ruin it? I hope I didn't. <laughs> All right, just scrape that there. I probably could have scraped some more of the bird feet. Oh, it's okay. Look at his little orange feet. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to press that onto there. Yeah, that'll hold it. My birdie is so cute. Hi, Judy. Thanks for stopping by. Charmaine, did I say hello to you? I don't remember if I did. Hey, gorgeous lady. My my fan, Laurel. I've been like missing at, in action here with this craziness of the of the party, the workshop that I did. It wasn't a workshop. It was a vendor show. It was awful. Just saying. <laughs> it was awful. The little feet are modeled. That's very, very cute. If you uh, when I take it off, I'll bet you'll be able to see it better. All right. So there's that. That's kind of thick. I'm not going to worry about that. All right. So now I'm going to do the butterflies. All right. I'm not going to put any blue on the butterflies. Part of me wants to do them orange as well because, like monarch butterflies. What are other colors of butterflies? Blue. Oh, there are blue butterflies, right? Oh, I have this peacock blue. I wonder how that'll work. Ooh, let's see. On a break at work, uh, on your break and you stop by to watch me. That makes me so happy. All right, I'm going to take this blue. I'm going to do this little butterfly here. This one's kind of dark, so I don't know how it's going to show up. That's my oldest paste. That's the peacock blue that I have there. Here's like a peachy color. And I've had it since I started in October. 
and that's how long that blue has lasted. And I've used it. It's not like I cheap out. <laughs> you just need so little of the of the paste. All right, I'm going to scrape this off because I am going to peel that down. All right. And scrape this off here. You see how creative you can get, though? I mean, with this method, it really does not take much to... All right. It showed up. It showed up all right. Huh? Look, I, I did not let that dry. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. make sure his little feet aren't getting like all squashed. They're not. They're fine. They're absolutely fine. Okay. Flatten that out again. There we go. And then I'm not going to go too crazy with these little bits because the little bits dry so fast and I don't want to like, you know, have like a three hour project here because some of these take long enough as it is. So I'm going to do the green and I'm going to do these leaves here and I know like you know things aren't perfect in nature so I can't get too like wigged out if it doesn't come out exactly perfect there's no perfect flower out there although I'm sure I'm sure that there I wonder if there are flowers that are perfectly symmetrical I don't know I don't know all right, there we go. Put a little bit more on here. This is our tool. This is just the little chalk couture tool, and it's really useful. It really does. It gets into tiny little places, but it's sturdy in the center. So did I get them all? I think I got them all. All right, so now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to scrape this off first. I try to kind of do it in order. I don't, I have, I'm, I'm really not sure that it makes any difference whatsoever. Okay, so this one's starting to dry because it's so small. So I just daubed a little bit more on there. We're good. Take that off there. All right. There. There. I have a feeling I missed one over here, didn't I? Yes, I did. This little guy here. All right. Now. <clears throat> and I'm going to lift this up again. From the center. Let's see. All right, there are little leafy parts. Looks kind of funny because it doesn't have any flowers on it. <laughs> I'm gonna dry that off and see where we are. All right, that's looking dry. I'm gonna put this back. Now it goes right back to where it needs to be. It's so cool because you know you're peeling it, but it's dried, and but because part of it stayed on, it just stays in its place. It stays where it should stay. Um, what color flowers? Let's go with guava. Guava is a pretty color. Guava. Look at that. I love. That's a nice color. All right, so I'm gonna do. First, I want to make sure that looked like a little bump. I don't want to. I don't want to start getting smears so early in the game. All right, so I'm gonna do these flowers, orange, or guava. There we go. These will be guava, and I'm I'm gonna go with those other things are tulips. They look tulipy to me. I don't know if somebody thinks that there's something else. Those little dots on top of it are throwing me off. And to me, tulips are red. I know they come in all different colors, but I'm gonna use red. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. All right, that goes here. And the big flower I'm gonna do 
in this baby pink. Oh, I'm sorry, I opened up bright white. I guess we're gonna make it a white flower. Another one of my cut squeegees here. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna scrape. Whoa, I got it into my letter there. Um, with the white cover, okay, white covers here. All right, so I try to keep the, you know, I just put my little, um, uh, what are these things called? The squeegees into the lids. And so it keeps it, yeah, that one's starting to dry. So I got to, I got to hustle. What did I have? Red. Now I'm, I'm guessing that I probably could just yank it off there, even with them being red, but I mean, so thick, but I don't want to, all right, let's see what I did. Let's see, let's see. Oh, look how cute. A little smushy there. I'll have to go back and fix that up. Oh, it's getting to be so, so cute. Very excited. Okay, I'm gonna dry it. Here we go. So that's nice and dry there. All righty, where am I? Okay, so now we have these little flowers on the side. Have I used every color? Um, no, I have not used purples yet. Oh, all right. Let's put these back here. Because you know, what is an Easter sign without amazing colors? All right, and this is the wild berry. Wildberry is very cool. So I'm gonna do these little ones here in Wildberry. Oh, and look, there's a miscellaneous one over here that I didn't see. And again, I did notice that it had a bubble, so I want to make sure it is flat. Actually, let me see, I'm gonna leave that on a little thick. I'll see if I can get that other flower done as well. Um, what am I gonna do there, this color? Alrighty. It's hard to chalk sometimes and talk at the same time. <laughs> we'll make that a little matchy there. All right. And the green is here and I still have green on my tool. So I'm just going to do whoop, this. Alrighty. I think that all of these colors are going to work well. Very nicely working together. But you know what the cool thing is? If it stinks and it doesn't work, I can, I, I'm pretty sure this chalk would walk off, wash off nice and easy. <clears throat> I might get a little shadowing, but the shadowing can be pulled off with um, either one of our erasers or a magic eraser. It doesn't even have to be one of ours. Ours are cheaper than magic eraser, though. Just an FYI, I think. <laughs> All right, there's that, and then there's the guava. There's that, and that. All right, let's see. There we go. It dried just a little bit there. That's okay. That doesn't bother me so much. All righty so cute already all these little bits are going to be able to be wiped off i'm not overly concerned about that all righty i'm gonna dry this off hold on
I'll be able to get that off with the eraser. And now I believe that the only thing I have left is the Happy Easter. Alrighty. So I'm going to take a larger squeegee and I'm going to not be concerned about where, oops, what's chalking on it? I'm not concerned about where we've already chalked. Obviously I don't need to have that stuck down. But if I'm, if I'm going around the flower, that's where I got a little bit of color in there, huh? Ah! You can hear the bubbles. I don't know if you can hear it there, but I can hear them. It sounds like Rice Krispies. I went to a chocolate tour get together on Monday and Tuesday, and they're already talking about <laughs> um, fall catalog. I guess people are going to convention in um, in Texas, which I'm not going to this year, maybe next year. Um, and they're talking about how they're going to get a uh, an early look at some of the stuff from for uh, the holidays. That's kind of exciting and weird. I feel I feel like we just. We just finished the holidays, to me, in my mind. Holidays were kind of a blur. So I'm just making sure that around the transfer where it's open, where the silk screen is, that there's really no um, problem with it being adhered down because that's when you run into issues. All right, that's looking good. So I was going to do, and I think I'm still sticking with it, I'm going to do the words in white because I think the words in white are really going to pop nicely. Okay, I'm going to put more on here that I need. Is this white? Yes, just making sure. Sometimes uh, we have this color called fawn, I think it is. It's, it's almost white. All right. There we go. Now, I did see a little bit of that red. That purple did make its way into my letters there. And that flower was already white, so I'm hoping that we're good. I want to do it this way because I don't want to get that red in there. I think it's already a done deal, but I could have marbled it, I guess, right? I'm not going to worry about it. Let it go. Let it go. Alrighty, get the rest of my Y here. I'm going to take a smaller squeegee. Just kind of go around there. And you can see I'm just kind of scraping it off into the center of the word. And this other word is going to be easier. All right, I know I got quiet for a second. I'm concentrating. All right, just about done. Here we go. La, 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 la. So this is a C size transfer, and this is a chalkboard that I picked up in Amazon. You do not have to only use Chalkator products, uh, Chalkator surfaces rather to create awesome things. So I'm a little concerned about that flower over there. It's looking a little messy, but we'll see. It's hard to tell when the transfer is still on. All right, I don't want to do any more because I don't want it to stick. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at the flower that happy didn't come out so hot. Uh, 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 uh. Keep going, keep going. Ta-da! That is so cool. I'm just putting this into the water bath that I have here. Give me just one second because I don't want it to fold in on itself because it's still kind of sticky. All right. All right, that's in the water there. We're good. All right, let's see. Let's see the damage. Okay. 
Oh, hit the camera. Sorry, guys. Don't throw up. All right. Oh, my gosh. I think it came out really cute. I will go over that H again because I don't like the way that H looked. When the transfer is washed and dried, I can simply put the transfer back on it and redo a part that I didn't like the way it came out. I can just fill that, that little part in. Some people use a paintbrush. When I use a paintbrush, it gets clumpy. So what do you think? I think it came out pretty good for a first try of doing, doing all this stuff on one transfer, on one uh, project. I'm happy with the way it came out. I haven't done many of these before. I kind of love it. I'm very happy. Well, thank you guys for sticking by. And I appreciate the likes and the shares. If you guys share, that's the best thing that Facebook loves to do. Because Facebook will only show this video to maybe 10% of the people that follow me. or No, maybe about 50% of the people that follow me, maybe, on a good day. But if people share it, then it just shows Facebook that it's kind of interesting. And so they'll show it to other people. And it's just a cute, fun project. It's not salesy at all. People don't like to be salesy. They don't like spammy stuff. I'm just doing this because it's fun. But if you like what you see, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. All right. I'm covering up my transfers. And everybody, you have a great day. I'll be back at some point. Um, have lots of new transfers that I'm going to be working on. So, yeah, there we are. Thanks again, everybody. Everybody have a great, great, great day. And happy early Easter. There we go. Can I put it that way? Oh. I think you can see it, right? All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. Don't forget to leave me a message. Hi. Right, bye.